Contestants fighting off danger noodles, groin injuries and hypothermia. This isn't the new season of Squid Game. This is Naked and Afraid on a whole other level. Naked and Afraid isn't just dangerous for the contestants. Producer Steve Rankin had to be rushed to the hospital in 2013 after encountering a venomous Ferdinand snake in Costa Rica and the bite left him with a rotting foot. As he explained on the follow-up show Naked After Dark, Rankin had been scouting out possible locations for the show at the time. While his team was hiking through the middle of a remote jungle, he leapt over a huge fallen tree, not realising one of the deadliest vipers in the world was on the other side. Rankin said, It was quite a sharp pain, it was like being stabbed, but right. then the, the real pain started in the time afterwards when the venom started to spread up my leg. The producer was carried through the Costa Rican jungle for two miles by his crew before a helicopter was able to rush him to a nearby hospital. But that wasn't the end of his bad luck. Doctors figured out that the gory injury was actually decaying after his legs swelled up to the size of a football player's, and in the end, he needed five surgeries. Rankin added, After the first surgery, when they opened my foot up, the doctor said, Well, it's good news, we've saved your foot. And I said, I wasn't even aware I was going to lose it. One contestant had a terrifying brush with death after contracting dengue fever on Naked and Afraid. After Manu Toigo was bitten by a mosquito in Panama, the contestant flew home to the United States, where she gradually started developing worrying symptoms. Toigo had severe headaches, fever, nosebleeds, and was bleeding from her gums when she was rushed to a Los Angeles hospital. Doctors eventually diagnosed the dangerously weak survival expert with a severe form of dengue fever. Luckily, they caught it in time and saved her life. In a follow-up video for the show, Toigo revealed that she had been doing physical therapy to recover from her illness. I had such muscle atrophy and I'm also dealing with um, nerve damage throughout the body. She also told fans that the process of regaining her strength would take a while, adding, That is the difficult part about this. It really becomes debilitating. I can't be a champion all my life. Despite her dramatic near-death encounter, Toigo insisted that she didn't regret going on Naked and Afraid and pushing through a dangerous situation, telling TMZ, Hell no! Most epic experience I could ever have done. According to Honora Bowen, she went through psychological suffering as well as physical struggles on Naked and Afraid. According to Bowen, producers invented a story involving a magnifying glass and the contestant's late father, which she later called a very emotionally unnerving act that actually affected me very deeply, as my father's death was so recent and I was still deeply mourning. While facing the elements in Brazil, the contestants were allowed to bring a fire starter as one of their survival items, and producers asked them to choose between a flint and a magnifying glass. I agreed and said that my father had recommended a magnifying glass right before he passed away. The producers loved this concept, as well as the potential storyline that they could then follow. For the rest of her time on the show, the survivalist was asked to talk about her father on camera in every interview. On her website, Honora wrote, I was asked pointed and personal questions. I was also told to repeat my words every time I referred to the magnifying glass as the magnifying glass and told to repeat and call it my dad's magnifying glass. Although she initially went along with the act, Bowen grew increasingly uncomfortable with exploiting her dad's death for Naked and Afraid. Bowen eventually had to be taken to a local hospital when her partner Matt found her lying on the desert sands in a catatonic state, which Bowen later admitted she had faked. Naked and Afraid contestant Samantha Oll demonstrated the real danger of surviving in a Croatian mountain forest in 2017 when she developed stage 2 hypothermia and had to be hospitalized. As she shared on the Outdoor Podcast channel, Ol had tried to keep warm at night by putting hot rocks into the single burlap bag that the show allowed them to have, rather than sharing body warmth by sleeping next to her partner Adam. But a heavy rainstorm on a particularly cold night proved to be too much for her body. One of the show's medics had to intervene since her extremities had become entirely numb and it was possible that her organs were shutting down. They drove Ol to the hospital, where local doctors prevented any long-term consequences. The contestant was still proud of her time on the show, as she stated after her hospital stay, My kids will see, you know. Mum did it. My body couldn't handle the last part. Although she had been looking forward to high-fiving Adam after completing the challenge, Ol didn't have any regrets, adding, I thank you for being there and watching out for me. 
Naked and Afraid has been accused of faking its extreme situations over the years, like when the Daily Mail reported that unwell contestants were given an IV drip. And one contestant has since come forward to say that the show doesn't always tell the truth about how their survivalists get ill in the first place. Phaedra Brothers appeared in the 2014 episode Himalayan Hell. Their trip had an inauspicious start when they had to relocate last minute after the Naked and Afraid crew found out that a tiger had killed 13 people at their original Northern India shoot location. None of the things I had been studying for the last two weeks even applied to the new location. Both of us were blind going into it. The food she'd packed was also lost, so one of the crew members offered to make her a chicken curry. Brothers recalled that she woke up incredibly sick, vomiting and suffering from diarrhea. She claimed the meal had given her terrible food poisoning. Not only did she have to begin while dehydrated, but the show's narration later blamed it on her drinking unclean water. Drinking the stream water is a calculated risk. It could contain bacteria or parasites that can cause dysentery. Although medical tests showed an intestinal parasite, the onset medic declared that she had dysentery and Naked and Afraid producers threatened to delete online comments saying otherwise. Brothers added, I think they thought it would be a better, more dramatic story, but it wasn't the truth. One of the worst injuries in the show's history took place on Naked and Afraid XL, when a tree branch broke under military veteran E.J. Snyder in a Louisiana swamp, and the subsequent fall sliced open his scrotum. Worst case scenario is an infection, a loss of genitalia, and if he becomes septic, it could be fatal. Snyder was remarkably unfazed by the time he met fellow survivalists Max and Gary, even going as far as making jokes about it. I also almost chopped my balls off yesterday. Oh no! The gory injury also won him the respect of the other contestants right away. Fellow survivalist Gary said, The guy's out here and he's busted his balls wide open and he stayed out here. I mean, this is the type of man he is. This is the type of survivalist he is. And I am honored and privileged to be out here with EJ. After the episode aired, Snyder tweeted, Thanks everyone for the concern. My cannonballs are fine and better than ever.